Right everyone, Brent Collector here. This is going to be part one to making a pump action crossbow. This is the crossbow we'll be making. It will have a handle down here so you can pump it. Uh, today I'm going to go over, this is part one, I'm going to go over the materials today. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to buy, because I'm, I'm not going to show you how to make this, because it's too much work. You're going to want to buy some kind of pistol prod. I'm going to try it with an 80 pound prod, but I think I may need to go to a 50 pound prod if this is too strong to pump. So I'd recommend buying a 50 pound pistol prod first. It will look just like this. Make sure you get the knock ends and a string. And then once you've got those, you can start working on getting the materials, which I'll show you next. Oh, yeah. This is, this is part one and this is the materials and plans. So, to follow along, first thing you're going to need to do is download the plans I made. And all you've got to do is go to my blog. The link will be in the more info section down there. Click on that link. Go to my blog. <coughs> download these plans. and this part and the handle part download them and then get these two bits and stick them together and then you've got your basic plans and then you're going to need the materials so what I'll go over is all the materials you're going to need and what alternatives you can use if you can't get what I'm using you don't need to use exactly what I'm using uh, you could use alternatives. So the first thing you're going to need is a piece of wood that is 10 inches by 16 and a half inches by about 12 mil, and that's for your two outsides of the stock. You could use any wood, and you could use thicker wood if you want, but that's what I'm using. You're going to want. I'll write all this down in the more info section as well, and on the blog. You're then going to want. A piece, of the, I've got two parts here, but don't matter. There's, you need either two bits like this, or one bit exactly the same size as this, so 10 inches by 16 and a half, or two bits 5 inches by 16 and a half, that are about 3 mil. Uh, these just need to be, these. it needs to be this thickness or around this thickness. This is to go in between the two side parts to make the groove for the bolt to run along. So it can't be wider than the bolt, but and the bolts are about five mil, so three mil. So, so that's that. If, if you're going to do this exact same as me, you get all this stuff. You're then going to need some aluminium plates, and these are you have two that are fourteen and a half by four, two of those, and then one that is four and a half by seven now if you can't these are rough sizes it's just if you get this size you'll have enough what we need is actually slightly smaller but if you get this this size you'll have plenty if you can't get two or three mil aluminium plate you can use wood if you want you could use some sort of uh, wood like that these are going to be the outer plates oh saying that you are going to need at least this one because uh, these two can be replaced with wood if you can't get the metal. These are outer plates. Uh, although aluminium would be better because they're for strength, you could use wood. This one you're going to need some kind of metal or something that you can bend because this one's going to be for the top side, the front side, and the uh, trigger guard. Alright. You're going to need a couple of little plates of aluminium. This is for the bottom of the pump handle and that needs to be at least two and a quarter by two and a quarter. So that, that's the bottom of the pump handle. And then you're going to need another piece that is approximately four and a half by two and a half. Oh, and those are... 12mm, 
10 or 12 mil is fine for both of those. Yeah, they're both 12 mil those. And then you're going to need two. You could use steel as well if you've got the materials to cut it, if you've got the tools to cut it. But uh, I'll use aluminium because it's easier to cut. These are the sides of the handle. These need to be as wide as the handle, which is at the handle sides, which is two and three quarters across there. Mine aren't big enough, so I'm going to have to adjust my handle. So as long as you get at least one and three quarter inch plates that are five mil, they've got to be at least five mil thick and at least, at least one and three quarter inches across. If you get the same size as me, I'll show you how to do it my way, the way I'm going to do it. But if you get it this way, I'll show you this way as well. So all, all we're going to do, we're just going to shorten the handle down. But uh, doesn't matter. You can either either way. I'll show you both ways when we do it. That's the oh yeah. That's that's the sort of main materials. And then we're going to need some stuff for the pump handle. So you're going to need a little bit of tubing. Can be steel. Can be aluminium. And that needs to be at least four and a half inches. Any kind of roundness, you know, as long as it fits in your hand. You're going to need some kind of wood that will fit inside that because we need to fill that up with wood so the same same sort of length and as long as it fits inside you know doesn't have to be round but it can be square bit we we'll just whack it in you're going to need a bolt that's long enough I'll tell you how long because the handle isn't going to be that long you're going to need a bolt that is four inches and this is to hold the handle to that bottom plate with a washer or two washers that are bigger than the width of the handle. See like that because that's going to be holding that on. So that's the pump handle. You get, you're going to need at least 60 screws that can be countersunk that are they're about 20 mil or three quarters of an inch all, all you need basically is screws that are long enough to go through actually then they're, they're not all that size I think that was a short one saying that yeah you want them an inch long one inch screws you want one inch screws that are long enough to go through one the outer plate the middle plate and then part of the outer plate again is to hold it all together because what we do we sandwich it together with screws meaning you can then take it apart at any time just by undoing the screws we, ne we don't glue it you can glue it at the very very end once you've finished everything but it's good to be able to open it so you can adjust things so 60 one inch screws that can be countersunk you're gonna need six Six, uh, six screws for this is for this is to go through the side plates in into that bottom plate for the handle. And these need to be the ones that cut their own thread. I can't remember what they're called now. I'll have an annotation down there, I can't remember what these are called at the minute. You know these ones, they are uh, they cut their own thread as they go through. Six of those, these are about three quarters of an inch or a bit more. Six of those to hold the bottom of the handle on. Then you're going to need various bolts. I've got two different kinds here because I don't know at the minute what the actual thickness of the copper is going to be yet. So you're going to need, I'll go over them all, oh yeah, here's the first thing, you're going to need two nails, any size nails as long as they're going to be longer than the thickness of the, the uh, crossbow, these are just, you just cut the ends off, these are to make pins for the nut and trigger, we'll cut those off, and a couple of washers that will fit on it just to fit on either side, so any sort of, a 6 inch, 5 inch, uh, 
five inch nail that's about five mil thick two of those with about six washers you're gonna need a two and a half inch bolt that's about eight mil of a square washer that's to hold and it needs to thread all the way along if possible as far as possible that's to hold the the prod in you're gonna need two two bolts all right i've got two different kinds here i've got these two and these two long ones these are for these two parts of the handle here these go inside that slot and they slide along you're going to need two bolts that are long enough to go through all of the material which is the stock and the sides of the handle so the ones i've got i've either got two bolts that are two and a half inches but if they're not long enough i've bought some uh, four inch ones and part of it's not threaded but I don't know if that thread bit's going to be too long for mine. That bit may actually be too long and it might not be able to, uh, be held tight enough. So you could get some four inch ones with full threads. And then you're going to need some kind of tubing that mine are a bit short. I'm going to have to cut this one in half and use it on both. I'd get two sleeves that are, uh, not two, you need, yeah, two or three anyway. If you get them about two inches, two inch sleeve, what it is, it's just a tube. It could be anything, it could be made of copper or you know, anything. As long as it fits over the bolts. Hang on, that one, does it fit on that one? The end must be closed up on this a bit. As long as it fits over the bolts like that, what that then gives is a part for those two edges to be clamped up against it. So that they can be held tight but won't go any further. So you're going to need two of those two inches and that's about 10 mil round. So all we'd have to do then is drill an 8 mil hole to stick the bolt through and that goes inside and you can clamp the, the metal up either side of it and it'll hold it apart but tight together. So that's even two four inch bolts or two two and a half inch bolts with the nuts and maybe a couple of washers for those get about four washers should do and then you're gonna need this is virtually it now you're gonna need some kind of just a little pin like a like a nail like a Two mil nail will do. That's about an inch long. That's to hold the, one of the springs. You're gonna need a little bit of wire to hold the spring on. We're gonna need at least one tension spring. I think these are called. The other ones are uh, compression springs. These are tension springs. These are the ones that pull rather than push. You need at least one of those, possibly two. If at a later date I may change the trigger. Uh, not the trigger, the uh, I may change the nut to be self adjusting, but we need a spring for that. And then you're just going to need a little bolt that's about 12 mil long, about 3 mil thick, 4 mil thick. Uh, and make sure you have a washer and the nut for that, and that's for the front side. So as far as I'm aware, that's all you're going to need to make the pump action crossbow that I'm going to make. Uh, this or, you know, this kind of a variation of this stuff. As I go along, I'll tell you different things you can do. You know, if you can't find this, you can't find that, do this, do that. Or you can just ask, you know. So, don't forget to download the plans. They're down there in the, in the blog. Just click on them, right click on it and then it will enlarge it, right click it, save it and then print it. And then print it on an A4 size piece of paper and then uh, you'll have the plans. And then in the next video we'll go over all the tools you're going to need. And then by part three we'll be making it. So yeah, that's it. 
I hope you enjoyed this series. See you later.